sad about it. No sad about it. I'm moving too fast, I can't stop. Wiping it down with the paint hot. Left hand on the wheel. I'm closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When it throw it blind in my dreadlock. In the end zone with the mad dot. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I get back up. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the Portland River Hogs. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Denver Broncos and the Portland River Hogs. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They will be led out by a second-round pick in 2019. Out of Missouri, it's Drew Locke. And this is a game for grit, determination, and somehow finding a way not to panic. What a horrible start for them. Yeah, All right, man, they haven't won a game yet. So now, as a quarterback, you're not just talking to your team. You've got to demonstrate to them what they need to do to win. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. To throw once more on second and ten. Lock. He's going to. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a gain of 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now on second and 13, Locke, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third and long, it's Locke, and he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. 
And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Ready, ready. 70, Indy. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Check, check. Right They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Right back to him on first down. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches, what do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos' 29. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. One, fifty-one. Check, 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 check. Two. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Let's go. Second and goal at the four-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Set, eight, three. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And it's caught. Touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. 
Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. If you see it, you call it. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he gets it down to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and 10. Block now on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in a seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. So that flag will cost them 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Now a carry for Lindsey. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A give, running right, Lindsey. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They go play action here on first down. He'll take a shot for the end zone, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off the play fake. Herbert, he'll let this go for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. On third down, Herbert. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. On fourth down, Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete. And a fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the Broncos will take over on downs. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From midfield, here's Locke. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A Bronco first down there. 12 yards on the play. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. 7-0 ball game. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman. Standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Now Locke, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Joey Bosa picks up his second sack in the afternoon. They look to throw, it's Locke. 
And this is going to be incomplete. Well, partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane, and they batted it away on a third down attempt. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. John Ross, the one he was looking for, and it's second down. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their route. And you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Check, check, check. Hey, hey, check. Two jet bombers, two jet bombers. Mike 50, Mike 50. Down to lose one. Alert flare, alert flare, flare, flare. Hey, zoom. My 50, my 50. zoom! Operating from the gun. Herbert. He'll get this into the hands of Deion Kane. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, Herbert. Got a man open, it's Ross. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. This quarterback now, four out of 10 throwing the ball in this first half, but he's got a first down here. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He's gonna be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. It's now third and 19. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Operating from the gun. Herbert. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. So we have reached half an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because 
Now I this is caught inside the 15. And what a big time play there. 64 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. On first and ten, Herbert, that one into the hands of Kane. And he gets halfway home from the ten to the five on a pickup of five. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. you got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? ball gets tipped in the air because if that happens then it's fair game for the defense they get three yards closer but still work to do it's third and goal a big play to start the drive got him in this position but this defense has held Recon, firm since and now it's third and goal from the gun Herbert. and it's caught touchdown Deion Kane, his third touchdown now on the year. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Tavecchio good on the extra point. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Locked to throw on third and one. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. That is first catch so far. They held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. On first down, lock. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Chris Godwin, his first touchdown on the year as his guys are back within a single score. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Let's go, boys, let's go. So here is the home side to take over on offense. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Another run by Lindsey. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And they're going to speed things up here. On third down, here's Lindsey. Well, now Lindsey lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, it's locked. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and that'll bring up second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Throwing again on second down. Lock 
And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Desmond King making the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Back now in the Rose City of Portland, Oregon. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. From the 31, Locke is going to let this go for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And it's third down. The Broncos on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Throwing now is Locke. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. No gain at all on the play there. That brings up fourth. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Locked to throw for it on fourth. And no, it's incomplete. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And as a result, possession switches hands. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, with a fumble he had early. We, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Hey, lock it. Off play action. Herbert going deep downfield for Ross. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And that's caught by Smith. 
And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. They'll run. It's Lindsey. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. To throw on second down. Herbert nowhere to escape and he goes down. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one-score game. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Throwing on third and long. Herbert. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. It would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. You can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio, and it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Joey Bosa in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From the gun on third down, Locke. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Chris Harris with a pick, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Here we go, here we go. 70, Indy. Check, check. On first down, Gibson. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw. Herbert. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. 
A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Looking to throw. Herbert able to find Deion Kane complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Throwing on first down. Herbert, he'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still... Ended up with a solid game. On second down now. It's Gibson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes. Folded like a lawn chair. From the gun on third down. Herbert. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. From six yards away. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Tavecchio good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end? Just to nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Locke to throw. He completes this to Sutton. He finds an opening past the 40. As he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout.
I'm coming after you. <laughs> One final try for Locke. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. He was looking to go back to Sutton there, but it's going to be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Block now to throw. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. So plenty of smiles.